G'day. Hobby text Jesus there behind me. My mum did that back in the 70s. The other thing that sort of came from around that era was this thing. Yes, it's Jesus on a stick. And it's an interesting sort of memorabilia from maybe the 50s or the 60s or the 70s. They're not worth very much. I've, I've checked them out. But the good thing about this is that it comes apart. And it's one of the things that I grew up with that I was never allowed to play with. And every time my parents would go out, I would, I would take this down off the wall and I would set it up like, like this so that I could uh, have a play with it to see um, what it was sort of for. Although I was never really sure exactly what it was for. But what I'd do was I would put these candles in here like this and I'd probably say a few prayers or something. But as you can see, I've never been game enough to light the candles. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to light these candles and see what happens. I think this is sort of like a, a, a prayer altar. Oops, blew them out. A prayer altar of some sort, but you know, I'm not exactly sure for what purpose it was. It just does come with its very own little bit of holy water, which you can um, sprinkle around if you really want to, although I'm not sure exactly that I do anything like that. For years and years, this thing has been hanging in the house and never ever used. And here we are. Here's the Jesus cross, Jesus on a stick, and a couple of candles, happily sort of just burning away. Hobby text Jesus behind me, watching on to see what happens. explain why it doesn't smell. Who knows where this holy water came from? No, it still doesn't smell. Here we go. Let's put the cross out. Let's put this out. A bit of holy water. Yeah. Well, that's it. I've got Jesus on the stick, up on his pedestal. I've burnt the candles that I've never, ever been going to do before. And I've put them out with the holy water. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That was fun. See ya.